Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Wonderful scenes here in the Dutch capital inside this terrific arena. One that does more than justice to the stature of the man whose name it bears. And already we're underway here. Tries to get it forward quickly. Richarlison. Philippe Coutinho. Coutinho brings the ball forward. And the shot! There it is! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Brazil are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Brazil go ahead, one goal to the good. Brazil have hit the front early, a foothold in the game. What a good start to the game. I think their play has been fast and inventive, and, and this is a fine example of early intent. They've begun as they mean to go on, and another goal is on the cards. Forward it goes. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Foot in. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Richarlison! Hoists it forward. Andre Carrillo. Brazil scored early, of course. And it's 1-0. And it's William. And it's played forward. Cueva. Forward it goes. He's found his man, Guerrero. That's great strength on the ball. Guerrero really just wasn't quick enough then well his thinking certainly wasn't didn't make use of what i felt were some very good options and they've got it back as soon as they gave it away it'll be a throw in oh he's caught him there it's a free kick Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let other. And the shot! Cueva. Coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Richarlison. Good ball, it's found its target. Gets good distance on it. Goes for goal! Chance again. 
no. They're just lacking the cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly... And the whistle goes for half-time. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Brazil having to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. And the game has already resumed here. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. And helps available out wide. Andre Carrillo. Richarlison. And it's Carrillo. Just brushed off the ball there. Brazil are ahead here by what is still the only goal. Aimed into towering header. He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Richarlison. William. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Keeper's not concerned by that. Ah, oh, look, his thinking was more audacious than his attempt. Cueva. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Shapes to shoot. He scored! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Uh, deflection may or may not have made a difference. Little matter, it is his. <laughs> Things starting to look very comfortable. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Brazil are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Coutinho plays it forward. And it's Alexandro. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Thiago Silva. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. 
frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Guerrero displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Guerrero. He's left his man. And they win it back again. Guer and the finish! Well, the referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. Throwing. So here comes a substitution. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Comes under pressure, and it's come loose. And that's a foul. A simple decision for the referee. Knocks it away. And that will be the final act. Brazil can be very happy with a job well done. An efficient win for which the players simply did enough. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? 